And we are at Tampa Airport headed to Seattle today for our Alaskan cruise. This is the Amazon Sphere building. Now we are coming on to Amazon Go. I, I have no idea if they charged me or they didn't. <laughs> I felt like I just shopped. We, yeah, we stayed there. <laughs> Fear building. Every other weekend. Oh, uh, they're only open every other weekend. Yeah, there's exotic plants here from all over the world. Um, kind of see in. Let me zoom over here. You can kind of see in this building right there. Um, with all the exotic plants that are actually in there. So Monday through Friday, five to one. But you have to have a um, open to the public public by reservation only the first and third Saturdays from 10 to 6. This is pretty cool. They have a few free community banana stand where people just walk up and grab bananas. Here this is from a different angle. Um, of the, this is Amazon head, part of Amazon headquarters. So it's kind of interesting. Now we are coming on to Amazon Go. I've never been in one of these so this should prove interesting. Let's see what it has to offer. There you go. Oh, it's tiny. Oh yeah, look at all the sensors they got up there. walk out. It's so weird. I feel like we're shoplifting. Alright, so you walk out. Can I eat it out of here? This little tiny area. Did they charge you? Any little eating area here. Just walk out shopping. No lines, no checkouts. Seriously. Did they charge you? Charge point. Just a regular sausage, egg, cheddar. A few minutes later. Should be getting an email or something, no? Alright, so what was your thoughts on Amazon Go? I liked it, but I wish they had a little bit more of a snack, like chip selection. There weren't a lot to, for like snack. It's more like a convenience store, yeah, right? Yeah, it's more like a convenience store, but it, and it's not showing me my app, my purchase history. So I have no idea if they charged <laughs> me or they didn't. I felt like I just shopped. We, yeah, we stayed there in, in like the little... The little area before the entrance. Yeah, because a good and it didn't ten show minutes. up on my app that it was purchased or anything. Thinking, so should I we walk no out? Yeah, so. <laughs> it's so That's unnatural. The only other thing. But I don't know if all the Amazon goes are the same. They might like have different different stuff. There's in probably like store. a processing delay. That's what I'm thinking. So we're gonna go that way. Maybe there's another Amazon Go or a Whole Foods, and you can kind of alternate. So let's do this. I think I think Whole Foods is kind of coming out with the same concept as. Amazon Go. It's just Amazon Go is just a smaller convenience than a grocery store. Look at that. They have little areas there where you can tie your dog so that you'll be able to just step right into the Amazon Go store, pick up what you need, walk right back out. Dog's still there. Goes I like that concept. Goes to show you how dog friendly yeah. this place they is. Have, they do have um, little pet stands all over with bags and stuff for the dogs. All right, we have a status of Amazon Go. They finally did charge my account. I got a notification from Amazon probably like 10 minutes after our last check-in about the feedback um, that my card was charged. So it took a little bit of time. So we were a little 
freaking out like we were shoplifting, but they did finally send us something. It did actually work, right? Yeah, it did actually work. And they got the right amount. Yeah.